Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and today we are going to design this line logo in Adobe in the Gray Designer and then we will put it to the Amazon merch right on the t-shirt and I will show you how to save uh, right from Amazon merch. I will miss a step where you need to export it into the Jeep if you do not have Adobe Illustrator. I do have an Adobe Illustrator, so I will show you how to save this uh, artwork directly from Adobe Illustrator. Because uh, when I try to save it on SVG or, for example, on FSV, uh, APS, uh, Gravit failed to open them and read uh, this template correctly. So let's start. My design is based on the sketch with a little deviation so let's start with the website large 1440 to 900 and first of all let's go to the to my sketch uh, i'm gonna work uh, here i'm gonna first of all i'm gonna dim it a bit so i want to uh, decrease the opacity and lock it on this layers panel by clicking on this toggle icon uh, then i'm gonna start with a pen tool simple pen tool and uh, well following the direction uh, in my case i follow a clockwise direction and as always guys i am really walking around the rule of three so three dots should create any curve or any arc in your design in your pen tool tracings i'm gonna skip these spikes and then oh, oops now here Then I'm gonna create uh, this uh, part and as well as this part. Uh, brilliant. Uh, next, uh, well, uh, guys, first of all, I'm gonna set a, gra a graphic uh, style. So I'm gonna delete the border and apply a very black color so a black hue make sure that you are working around CMYKI color space so uh, let's work with the black and uh, then I'm gonna create a new shared style so uh, to ensure that I'm working both in CMYKI and I'm working with a black fill without border it's uh, the basically the best uh, solution if you want to save your time uh, so create a new graphic style and now i'm gonna just uh, create a set a graphic style applies to all of these elements so so far so good we have our basic uh, skeleton uh, of our illustration and now uh, i want to Click on the empty spot to deselect everything and select canvas. And then um, you see uh, on your right this document panel. On this document panel you see this grid sub panel. So click isometric and then provide an angles uh, to increase the angles to 45. And decrease uh, angle 2 to negative 45 degrees. Uh, why doing so guys? Because now I want to make a line... Uh, some of my lines and make them more consistent. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna size down the uh, module in my isometric grid. Grab the subselect tool, or click D, and uh, let me scale a bit. So now I'm gonna walk and align everything uh, according to my grid. Well, probably. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn off the grid 
uh, grab the ellipse tool and create an eye. Uh, again, apply the graphic uh, shared style and then uh, create duplicate with Ctrl Shift D, Command Shift D. Size down this duplicate, select them both and go to my uh, subtract uh, boolean shape operator. So, so far so good, we uh, have very handsome um, artwork, but I also want to uh, make add a bit more motion to this artwork. So I'm gonna delete the sketch and first of all, uh, I'm gonna group everything uh, all together and flip it horizontally. Now uh, we have this serious line and uh, we can make some adjustments. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna adjust these uh, two dots. This dot should be straight. Uh, straight means that it doesn't have uh, a direction handles. Then I want to introduce the corner radius and for uh, across all of my corners that I'm gonna um, soften a bit, I'm gonna use uh, only a 24 pixel uh, corners. Uh, next in uh, my list is this uh, point. Of course, I'm gonna set it to 24 also. And also, I want to push this a bit uh, to the bottom. So, basically, I'm uh, pretty happy with this. The only thing that I want to Soften is this corner on the top. So also I'm gonna give it a 24 pixels and then maybe push it a bit like so. So uh, I'm pretty happy with this result. Uh, next in my list is to grab the pen tool and uh, create something like this. Great. So let's uh, come back to normal view, full view, preview our design. Uh, it looks fine. Last but not least, uh, you see that uh, this is a compound shape 
and I want to control shift P command shift P to convert it to compound path so now it's uh, no longer adjustable and then grab everything and go to the um, unite uh, to unite everything uh, in one coherent shape uh, so for now I can save my file into the for example gravity design or even better to is SVG so I need to go to the file export and uh, save it as a scalable vector graphics uh, go here let's say it line line design and now guys I'm uh, gonna switch to illustrator and you can switch to the GIMP because well basically um, Amazon merge template you can uh, type Amazon merge template and grab the GIMP template here I haven't uh, my I have no GIMP uh, installed in my computer so I can I can show you but uh, what uh, you can do uh, next uh, is to upload your line design as you can see uh, and uh, here I have some troubles uploading from Gravit. First of all, I need to release the clipping mask, uh, delete this part, then uh, release, delete this part, and then release the group. Control Shift G, Command Shift G, and you see we have this uh, compound uh, path. And we need to also release the compound path. As far as I know, Control Shift Eight. Uh, yes. Control Shift Alt 8. The same here. Uh, basically, we have these two paths that we need uh, to subtract. Um, oh, minus round. Sorry. So, uh, click minus round, and now we can combine everything into the group. Control G, Command G. So, so far so good. I'm gonna place a design here. So, placing design. I'm gonna move it just like so. Uh, looks very well. I'm gonna uh, save this margin uh, here. I'm gonna provide uh, this lion's head a bit of uh, place uh, to move forward, right? Uh, maybe even scale it down. Oh, no. Nice. I uh, guess uh, here I can set some colors here you see i choose white but you can see on the orange on the blue on the grass and so on and so forth then when you're going to save your actual design you need to click toggle the visibility and make this a uh, short colors invisible once you're uh, decided to Upload this to Amazon Re, uh, um, Match if you think that your design is ready you need to select uh, your design and then go to the file and uh, s Export selection choose here an artboard uh, As you can see I have already provided a custom Name I'm gonna name it Lion design and uh, here we need to set uh, from the scale uh, drop down we need to set resolution as resolution and set it to 300 ppa pixels per inch uh, make sure that your format is png and then provide a path uh, to save your design click export on board i am ready to uh, position my design on the amazon match so log into your account uh, into the Amazon match and um, click create here you can upload your design for example I have this lion head so far so good place it on the on your t-shirt make sure that your artwork dimensions save it yes it, it means that everything is okay now and I'm ready to uh, proceed further. Standard T-shirt, premium T-shirt. Okay, front, back, save selection, and continue. 
Let's go further, and I need to set a color. Color white, uh, female, yes, yes, okay. Let's go with yes as well. Uh, suggested price uh, list. Well, I'm new to Amazon, but I believe I can make it a little bit cheaper. Yes? Uh, save selection and continue. Successfully saved. Now I need to say a name. I'm gonna use my name as Vitorials. Vitorial. Uh, okay, Alex Vitori. Uh, title of product. <laughs> uh, I'm. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, but let's proceed uh, further. Let's uh, provide a tidy short uh, white with with a lion mascot moving moving uh, forward. Forward. Uh, key product features lion mascot product description bought it solid colors 100% cotton it's all automatically set for you on um, white t shirt t shirt with a lion logo, Ma with a lion mascot moving, moving uh, forward. Oops, mascot moving forward. Uh, lion mascot. Logo black and white. I believe black and white uh, should be main feature. For some of the reason, I have two lines here. Maybe black and white design. Classic, classic design for people enjoying sport. It's a sport, a sport. Let's join the sport. Okay, save selection and continue. Successfully saved. Add primary bank account before you can sell a product. So this is how you can create logo in Gravity Designer. Then in Adobe Illustrator or in GIMP, guys, I um, I'm new to GIMP, so not I'm not a good teacher for GIMP. So uh, you can find some tutorials on how to create. A template uh, for Amazon Match. Uh, if I find uh, out how to use it, I will provide the link on the description. So make sure you check a description. And guys, do not forget to join Gravity Designer Tutorials Group and Gravity Designer Users Group. Subscribe to my channel, uh, turn the notification on, and make sure to check other tutorials on vitorials.net. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.